August 2021, Dayton, Ohio. Okay, so we're not in Dayton, Ohio yet, but we will be there tomorrow. And as for today, well, we're at Michelangelo's Winery celebrating Janet's birthday in the best way that we know how. And that would be with good food, some really good wine, and fantastic company. We picked Michelangelo's Winery because, well, we like wineries. And my mom heard that this recently opened winery was very good. And it most certainly was. The food was good, the wine was good, and to cap off the evening, we got a private tour of the winery by the manager of Michelangelo's. It was a very fun evening. We ended the evening at my mom's house for one last farewell drink before Janet and I packed and made our way to Dayton, Ohio. And again, we stayed at the Wright Patterson Air Force Base FAM Camp, which is just outside Dayton, Ohio. On this trip, we actually had more of a chance to explore the area, and we started our exploration with a visit to John Bryan State Park. It's been a while since Shannon and I were able to do some good hikes, so we really enjoyed the hikes we were able to do at John Bryan State Park. The hiking was easy, the scenery was beautiful, and the park backs up to Clifton Gorge, which also looked like it had some nice trails. And so, maybe because the hiking here was a little too simple, we decided to hike Clifton Gorge. Ah yes, that's more like it. Hazardous signs. Well, at least this one isn't warning us about rattlesnakes or alligators or bears or lions. This one is all on us. And of course, as one would expect when you're hiking into a gorge, you hike a moderately steep trail. Huh, it just occurred to me. I called this trail a moderate trail. And now I know what those folks at Big Bend were thinking when they labeled their trails as moderate. The hike down was worth it as we were rewarded with a nice walk along this beautiful river. Very peaceful, very nice. But what goes down must come up and it was time to make the hike back up out of this gorge. You know, I say that like it was a big thing, but it wasn't. And I said that this trail was moderate. It wasn't. It was really easy, at least when compared to some of the trails we did back in Texas and up in Colorado. All in all, it was great to be hiking again and a good way to spend the day. Our next visit was to the Wright Brothers Memorial. The memorial is located on a hill overlooking the Huffman Prairie Flying Field. This is the field where the Wright brothers perfected their airplane. The memorial also has a museum, and this museum has enough information inside it to keep you busy for hours. Great place to visit. I highly recommend it. And finally, our last day in Dayton has arrived, and we're spending it with Mike. We had a very yummy dinner at Mike's, and we got a chance to watch some old VHS videos of us back in the day when we were skiing in Italy. I haven't seen one of these old videotape players in, well, it's been a while. As the evening went on, we got a chance to meet Mike's friend, Mark, and the four of us headed on down to the Fray's Center to watch a Trace Atkins concert. The warm-up band for Trace Atkins was the James Barker Band. They were good. I really enjoyed listening to them. First half of the third glass of the last night of the week. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. My biggest time This is the sound engineer that makes him sound so good. I took his picture because, eh, I used to be a sound engineer way back in the day when I was working. Well, they were good, 
and I enjoyed listening to them, but this, this is my kind of country. So I'm not a big country fan, but this Canadian version of country, I think I can actually get into. Well, I get lights in a biz black night, like a white t-shirt and a worn out pair of jeans. Like a song you know, and a radio, like windows down and down. But the James Barker band eventually finished, and now that we were all warmed up, it was time to listen to Trace Atkins. I've been thinking about our love situation. All this attraction in the prison tent. I greased the only logical... Trace Atkins put on one hell of a show. And there is no denying the man has a voice. And I've been told that it's not a Trace Atkins concert unless he does this one song. Listening to Trace Atkins was a blast, and it was a great way to end our last day in Dayton before we moved on. But move on we did, because there's a whole lot more country that's left for us to see. We haven't added any new states on this trip, nor are we likely to add any in the next couple of weeks, but we're still traveling and still enjoying this. And so, as we move on, I certainly hope you'll join us, and I hope we'll see you at our next stop. <laughs>